and um, the mela when you when you ha when you're holding by you said you're literally holding that this is really this is really the um, the channel right this is really the funnel the channels all bracha all shashbais so so a person that connects the kedusha to the to the that you cite is zeichet to all the bracha that's stored over there and any bracha has to always come through you so that's why you say is such a foundation. Um, I was just looking at a sefer called Shari Ayra. He says these the site that in, in Eil Mazed the site is the site is below the binyan, right? You build the foundation, you build the binyan on top of it. But when it comes to Ashpah from Hakadosh Baruch Hu, right? The, the site is 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 the foundation that channels below to to to, to Malchus to to, to the Lamaisa to the Bracha Eil Mazed. We talk about Malchus, we talk about Eil Mazed. So the the foundation is 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 above it. Um, he says, he says, uh, how do you have a foundation above, 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 above a binion? He says, well, you have, well, let's say you have, uh, you have fire, right? What's the foundation of fire? The foundation of fire is the oxygen that it's burning from above it, right? So mainly fire by fire, you have this idea that you have, you have, you have by ruchli, you stick a zach, the foundations are, are, are above. Right? Let's say we built, we built, we built, we built uh, bottoms, bottoms up. The, um, so that was so that was that's the BBW site and, and and it's really that's it really means that we're 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 putting the the connect the, the connectors in of all the avayda of sphere is coming is, and and the are coming down now so it's time really to put the to focus on what where where we've been what we've done and whatever we haven't done try to be misak in it now and in order to prepare us ultimately for all the all the shefa and brachas that's going to come down on on, on Shavuos, which is not the the greatest the greatest uh, in the world. We were um, we were talking about um, ah, so we want to talk about Yisait Shiv is is the um, is the yard side of the Ramchal. Okay, so we've, so we we figured we would uh, talk a little bit about the Ramchal and it would, and uh, really tie the Ramchal what he accomplished for Klai so uh, to me the side Yisait um, the Ramchal. Right, so he's well known for his his, his most famous uh, sefer is Masil Sisharim, less famous but also very famous and very 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 um, uh, a, 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 a foundation of all hashkafa is built on it is the sefer Derech Hashem. So it's interesting that Amchal, who obviously epitomizes his Indian of Yisait because his, his yard site is the Yisait Shiv Yisait, and that that the Ramchal, what did he do? He literally provided us. With the foundation of Pneumius for all our, all our Avodas Hashem. The most basic understanding for any, any, any person walking around in this world today, for a person who has a solid understanding of his Tachlis Habriya, right, comes from the Yisaitis of the Ramchal Shtal Davek in Sefer Derech Hashem. And literally, pe people don't even realize that what's, what's known is that what, what, we, what we have literally is, is our foundations. Of understanding what our tachas abri is, what our avoda is, why our avoda has to be dafka like this. These are all you cited that that, that Ramchal Shtal Davek, and they become they become so so much so much part of our of our of our basic understanding, and, and it's not even not even realized that the Ramchal he's the one that sort of codified these ideas. He didn't make them up, but he codified them, and 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 that's where they became solidified in in, in Klai Yisrael's uh, understanding of their avoda. The the Ramcha was a huge makubal, and and he was able to take his his amazing understanding of all the kabbalah and the pnimis of the kabbalah and really break it down to to basic understanding. Why was not this? Why? How, what? What was his kayak? So the they say that the the Vilna Gain, when he saw the sifri on the farm of the Ramcha, he was like blown away, and he says kabbalah is all is all mishalom. And most people, they can learn a lot of Kabbalah and know a lot of Yisaitis and, and, and have an understanding of, 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 of very, very detailed facts. However, to take all the Yisaitis, which are, are just Mishalim, right? Because when you talk about Kabbalah and Ruchnius, everything's a muscle because we have to, it, we, we can't talk about something we've never seen, we have no Shaykhs to. So everything that's being, that's being described is always a, a, a muscle. And to, to, to learn all the mishalom and to be able to break the muscle down to the nimshal, right? That's something that's a, that's a shlemus in this area. And when the, when the, the Vilna Goyen read the svarim of the Ramchal, he said he saw it was clear from the, from, from the Ramchal, different than most 
big tzaddikim and Tamid Chachamim, he saw that the Ramchal really understood the Nimshal. And in as much as Ramchal wasn't, he, he, he really understood the inner mechanics of everything and was really able to apply it to Lemaisa, he was able to really bring it down to Lemaisa to all of us. The, um, let me just get my Misil Sharm, just I want to just say a couple things from from, from Misil Sharm. <laughs> When, when, which time period was he, the Ramchal? Oh, he's gone. I believe it was the late 1600s, right after Shabzai Tzvi, which was, uh, ask Rebbe about it, but the fact that he lived right after Shabzai It was the 1700s. 1700s? Yeah, check when he was nipped. In. By the way, this is a picture of him behind me. Supposedly. We're, we're, we're. Everything, Ari, everything is supposedly. <laughs> there's also a picture of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. But but really. Yeah, but then um, uh, there's also a picture of Moshe Rabbeinu. Brothers, how much do you have now? So, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, talk a little bit from Ramchal, a few in, in Yonim that are really eye-openers. And um, we've been learning a lot of the system in Yeshiva uh, for the last, last uh, Tekufa. And um, like since Purim, right? Stuff, since Purim. No, we've been doing it for years already now. <laughs> Let me tell him about the cockroach. The cockroach. Oh, about the cockroach. Okay. <laughs> the um, the <clears throat> so the the Ramchal. He um, you know, when you learn Mitzvah from beginning to end, you really get you really get exposed to, to like the whole picture. You know, most people pick up Mitzvah Shisharim, and they learn the Hakdama, they learn Biyas Chagal, Biyas Chavis by Lama. They start to hear us, and by then they get a little bit burnt out, and they and they never really get to uh, to Parak Yitches and Yates, Beber Midas Hachasidus, right? And you start getting to Hasidus. And you start getting to 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 Hira, and you start getting to Anova. Does, does uh, Rebbe know of any uh, of any svarim that that teach it that, that are good to buy that have like the full teich? Um, there is a um, there is a Mishnah Shem that has full teich on it. Yeah, they, they printed many years ago. The Feltheim put it out many years ago. They probably have have even have even have updated it. I have I have a set of yeah. I never really looked at it. Um, so I don't really know how the taich is, but um, Rabbi Yaakov Hillel taiched the uh, Mesil Sharm, and maybe he added some details. It's uh, printed by, I bought it. It's a solid. I, I didn't really look at it. We could probably get it, it in Lake Worth. No, I know. I'm I, just yeah, wondering yeah, yeah. if there's a certain has, one that's like that, I don't know that that's good, that actually work, explains it, not have, just. Yeah, he doesn't have he doesn't have the Hebrew. I think I think he paraphrases it. But I think is what he did. We can get it in Lake but I, I, probably I, I, not I Jackson. Look at it. I, I bought it for someone. Um, I bought it for someone, and, uh, and that's what. Uh, so he the person I bought it for I took the first Chalik, and I had like the last four. Um, he, he was supposed to pick up the next, you know, switch it in when he got true, done the first one. True, true, true what point. So sorry, and he and he gets a Zehiris. And the Hiris is just not that much fun. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it, it, it doesn't blow you away. Like, wow, let me add it. I can't wait to, 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 to reach this Madrig of Zahiris, right? You know it's a necessary step because you can't get to step number 10, right? Until you go up step number one and two and three, et cetera. But ultimately, mm -hmm. when, you, when, you, when you don't get that, that, you know, that high, we'll call it, you know, from learning about Zahiras, right? So then people, a lot of times, don't make it to that. But you start getting to Hasidus, right? And, and Madragas that, that, that are, are, are a little bit are, are higher, you know, the, high, the, the higher Madragas, meaning Madragas that are more tachlis. And all of a sudden, he starts talking about Dvekas, you know, are you finally getting a relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu? And it describes the depth of this relationship with, with, with HaKadosh Baruch Hu as being, like, so, so amazing, right? So this is something that, um, that all of a sudden, like, like the Mesil Sharm becomes like, wow, I cannot believe we don't start Mesil Sharm, learn Chayvah Saldam Bailamai, go to Chasidus, look what our goal is, 
You're to go to Kedusha, see where we can get to, and then go back and figure out how to get there, right? Because the first when you see what, what, what's, what's waiting for you at the end, it just becomes like, well, okay, give me that. You know, that's, that's exactly what I want, right? You don't really want Zahiris. You want what Zahiris is revealed in these reasons to, to, you know, Nikias, et cetera, until you get to Hasidus and Kedusha, et cetera. So let me just tell you something we actually just doing recently about Hasidus. Okay, Hasidus, he talks about it. Hasidus, and obviously, you know, we hear Hasidus, we think about Hasidim, and that's what people, even in the times of Ramchal, when they spoke about Hasidus, they thought about Hasidim. Now, Ramchal lived before the Hasidim, the way we know Hasidim, but there were people that were, there, there were people that were similar to what we have as modern day Hasidim, that they, their Hanhaga was Hanhaga based on precious and Tanesim and Sigufim and different things, and saying lots of Tehillim and Tavling in the ice. And, and, and the way he describes it is they're giving, they're giving Hasidus a bad, a bad name. Because even though these, all these Hanhagas may be, may be part of Hasidus, this isn't what Hasidus is. Hasidus is a deep connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's a deep emotional connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And yes, part of that deep emotional connection may, may have in it details that are not for the common folk, but the, the goal of Hasidus, which is this deep emotional connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is, is really for everybody to, 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 to understand. He says, and people think, oh, I don't want to be a Hasidus. They sit and say tell them all day, and they sit in the table of dice, and they sit in the, and they uh, and they don't social distance. So I don't ever want to be a be a chassid. You know what I'm saying? So so he said that's a mistake. That's not what chassid is. Chassid is ultimately the goal of every yid to get to this majeg of chassid, which again is this deep connection to Hakadosh Baruch So he says I say, chassid is predicated on. So chassid is not a different type of yiddish guy. It's just a higher level. Is that correct? Chasidus is 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 is, 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 is uh, the madrig is of Chasidus is after you've gotten your avoda down pat, you 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 develop an emotional connection to Hakadosh Baruch Hu in your avoda. Okay, it's not just I have to do the mitzvah. I do the mitzvah. It's you do the mitzvah, recognizing that this 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 mitzvah connects with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and you have a higher understanding who Hakadosh Baruch Hu is. You have a a, a a true understanding who you are and where you're going with this avoda. Why Hakadosh Baruch Hu wants you to do this. And you're so emotionally connected to, to the mitzvah that mainly you're going to do it with every detail. You're going to do it with all the hidden mitzvah. You're going to do it with a, a tremendous amount of appreciation and simcha. So again, the chasidus is a layer of depth of pneumius of avayda, which we'll call the emotional depths of avayda. That that um, that. Um, Rabbi, when we say al tzaddik and al chasidim, we're not talking about the chasidim nowadays. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, there is a there are chassidim nowadays. They're not per se every guy walking around with it with with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a curly pace and, and the long beard. Is, is actually a chassid. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, he's you know, giving the whole passion to lecture. What? Moish, can you he's mute the, yourself? Oh, okay. So, may look, okay. So let's say, let me just yeah. say what he says over here. This is very, very interesting. He says chassid is one of the one of the one of the one of the the um. Amudim of Avoid of a Chassid is Yira. Okay? Well, so he says there's two Amudim, Yira and Ava. He talks about Yira. And he says, I say, it's, it's unbelievable because we all want to be Yari Shemayim. Everybody, everybody knows the goal is to be Yari Shemayim. You don't, don't really know how to get there. You know what I'm saying? Per se. You know, if, if, if you tell me, you know, it's, it's like Chinuch with, with children. You tell your children, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And you're not you're not being mechanach kids, right? Chinuch is directing people in 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 in, uh, in behavior that's good for them and that and that suits them. And all of a sudden they say, "Hey, wow, this fits!" And now you mechanach a child to be to be who he's meant to be. But just saying, "Don't do this, don't do that," you know that that's not the best way to do chinuch. I mean, in a certain man, you have to say "don't," but mostly chinuch is 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 literally. Um, Showing a child here, try this on, try this out. You're going to see this is, this really suits you. When you realize this suits you, then you understand. Well, yeah, if this suits you, you're not going to wear, you know, if this is just a muscle, if the size 10 suit fits you, you're obviously not going to wear the size 14 suit, right? And if you look good in this suit, look how good you look. You're not going to walk around with, 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 with dirty clothes if you look good in clean clothes. So if you're showing the positive, this is ultimately the, the best way of, of him. So when it comes to Yira, how do, you, how, do you, how, do you, how do you positively show Yira? So the way the, the Mesil Sharm over here in Parak, your test describes it. 
he says that it's done by davening. If you daven like a mensch, davening is an exercise in yira when you recognize it, okay? So davening is not you getting up and saying words. Davening is literally an exercise of yira. What is yira? Yira is being in awe of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. The best yira, the highest level of yira is yira seraimus, right? That you're literally in awe of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. So he said, I say, he literally, in Parakya test, he gives you like a, a guided meditation, right, of davening that, that is meant to literally blow you away from the experience of yira, of yira that is, that is, um, that is, that is felt, that's experienced, okay? Um, so let me just read, read you a, a few lines, okay? When you're davening, right? He says, I say, Okay, so me and, me and Ari, we had this, we did this, this, uh, this search on, and Mr. Shum, see, every time Mr. Shum says the word mamish, okay? And when the Mr. Shum says the word mamish, he's trying to say mamish, you know, this is it. You know, meaning sometimes I'll t- you'll say something and, and you'll assume what I'm saying is figurative, right? So he says, you're davening, like the Tana says, right? And so you can say, oh, that's figurative. Comes along, <coughs> comes along the, the Ramchal and says, no, this is not figurative, this is literal. You're oimed mamish lefnei habarach yisbarach shema. And you are hobbling it. Okay, so now, he says, you can't, this is not something you're naturally going to be able to pick up with your senses because you don't have a sense. That sense is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, right? It's not one of the five or six senses, okay? Or you call it, it is the sixth sense. However, he says like this, Amnam, however, Mishu Baal Seichel Nochem, okay? If you have working Seichel, straight Seichel, Bimat Hisbaninus, with a little bit of contemplation, you see Mislav and paying attention, you shall like boy a beliboy amita sadover. Echu ba venoise venoise mamish ima yisbar. With a little bit of contemplation, if you have, um, if you have seichel nochay and maat his spine, just a little bit of his spineness, right? A little bit of contemplation and paying attention you will be able to actually recognize that mitzvah dover, that when you're starting with the Kodesh Baruch, you are literally talking to Kodesh Baruch. So that's step one, okay? Step one of your guided meditation, okay? That, you're, um, that you, you become, you recognize the truth of the fact that you be'emes, standing, ma'amish again, he says over here, and you're literally conversing, give and take with the Kodesh Baruch. In front of him, you are begging. From him, you're asking things. Not only that, okay, and Hashem is listening exactly the way Hashem, uh, you, when, just the same way Sani is listening to me right now, right? That is how Hashem listens to Sani when he davens. Now, the, um, now, so that's step one. Once you've reached step one, that we give you another thing to think about. Start thinking about how Al Rabbi Musa Yisbar, how great a Kaddish Baruch is. Asher hu meroimam meniska v'kol bracha sila kol mine shleimah shetucha b'ach shaftei lit b'yisul lamen. A Kaddish Baruch is the most unbelievable, the highest above all all bracha and, and praise, all shleimahs. We can't we can't imagine a Kaddish Baruch's greatness. That's a step. So step number one. Step number one is. Recognize you stand in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Step number two is, oh, who's HaKadosh Baruch Hu? HaKadosh Baruch Hu is this unbelievable, he's everything, right? The most unbelievable everything in this world. Step number three, okay, and who am I? Right? Who are you? And, and when you, the next step is, you miss Biden, I'll shift us to Adam Prisusai. All of a sudden you see there's a huge gap between this being HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that you're standing in front of, and yourself. And you get blown away that you cannot believe that little you is sitting in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Not only are you little, 
you're flawed, right? Not only are you a little bit flawed, you're not only very little, you're a lot flawed, right? And your father of Kaddish Baruch is, who is huge and totally shlemus, right? So that's the third step. You're in front of Hashem. Hashem is amazing. You're very small, okay? At this point, he says, you start, it's impossible. Once you get to this step, you start shaking, right? As you talk, you're just like, you, you just, you don't know, you don't know how, to, how to respond to being in such a position, so, so small, so, so flawed in front of a Kaddish Baruch who is, who is so great. And at that point, it becomes a tremendous appreciation. You cannot believe it. HaKadosh Baruch is so kind. I cannot believe that I'm overawed, but HaKadosh Baruch is giving me this opportunity. And this all of a sudden becomes this idea of, of Gilu Ber'oda, right? You have this Yira, but you have a celebration that you cannot believe. Little me, who is so flawed and so, and, and, and so valueless, is offered this opportunity to Dabda Kodesh Baruch See, this is how he describe, describe, describes the contemplation. He says, when, he says very interesting, he says, when you, when you go through these steps and you're davening, you're going to find that on a physical level, you start experiencing where you're holding, okay? This becomes like a meditative trance you enter into, and you're going to feel in your heart this tremendous, this tremendous, emotion growing in your heart. <clears throat> then you're going to feel your body, the Eivari Aguf, like that your head is going to feel very he- heavy. And when you bow, Shifla say nine, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to feel overawed to be, you have to be looking down. You're going to be unable to look up. Viklipa say nine, you're actually going to put, you put your hands over your, uh, 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 you put your, put your hands together like an epic cut with name Mela. Okay, Mela, this is something that, just like it just I, I saw I saw it I mean recently I saw it I've seen it many times in the past, but the way he described step after step, Stelzavek, you a year three times a day have this opportunity to not just daven, but to literally exercise the midas a year and, and exercise a year to walk away from your davening. Oh, to miss a Yari Shemayim, that is that is something that is, is an opportunity. We all have to have davening is 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 being kinda the mid of Yir Shemayim. And this connects to Hakadosh Baruch, which literally fuels us for the rest of the day. <coughs> That's a uh, something that comes in the, the yard center. Mchal, much time. Let's start. It's close to Yagalim Mchal Yisrael. And um, okay, let's let's start. Let's put a little bit of makas over here. Mahal tzach.